Okay, so the verdict seems to be that my engine is just broken, um, and this this once again is a case of where I probably just need to restart my engine, but I I, I can't do that right now. Anyways, um, but it's it's totally true. It happens to me all the time. It literally just happened to me. Wow, this mesh is kind of broken up top. Uh, this happened to me not but um, 10 minutes before I was trying to record this episode. I was trying to do something with the blueprint on my other project, um, on my uh, on my test project for this this uh, this tutorial series, and it was and it was showing me an error for a node that didn't even exist. Like it was just completely breaking. Restart in and 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 my when I tried to play, my character wouldn't move. It wouldn't spawn properly. Nothing would work. I restart the game or restart the engine, and and it works, and it and it just starts working again. Like it, nothing ever happened. Like what, what are you talking about? No errors here. So I think that's what this is a case of. Uh, I, obviously, next time I come back and try and set up the bullets, uh, I may be completely wrong, and I'll try to, uh, you know, fix my mistake. Uh, should it be a mistake? I really hope it's not, though. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you liked, please leave a like. Uh, if you um, want to see more videos like this, you could subscribe, because I do videos like this up to, you know, um, sometimes, sometimes three times a week. You know, it's actually, I feel like pretty often for Unreal tutorials. But anyways, uh, I do have an RPG series if you'd like to th uh, check that out. I've got uh, some gameplay here and out, here and there. Uh, new Minecraft series just came out. Huge, huge response on that. A lot of people liked it. Uh, got much more views and likes than I expected to within the 24-hour period that I gave myself to kind of gauge how well people would like it. But anyways, response was great. So I want to thank you guys so much for that. But uh, if you didn't see that little qu quick thank you video that for some reason sped up and time lapsed for no apparent reason when I uploaded it. But anyways, that'll be all for this episode. Thank you so much. Uh, comment your issues or suggestions or whatever, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks. Okay, well that uh, surprisingly took like three to four minutes to uh, import, so that's fun. Anyways, um, so now what we need to do is set up our anim graph. Now you're like, well, why do we need an anim graph? It's just a turret, and, and there's no real animations, because like I said, we're not doing any animations for this. You may be wondering why we want to set it up an anim graph. Well, to modify bones and do transforms on bones and stuff, you still have to do that with, through an anim graph, or animation graph. Um, if you don't know what an anim graph is, some, some may not, and, you know, no hate against you. Um... So we're just going to make an animation blueprint and uh, obviously do it to our turret skeleton. I'm just going to call this turret underscore anims. And uh, we're going to open this up. And we're not going to do a whole lot with it, to be honest. Uh, there's going to be very, very minimal blueprint scripting uh, done here. So what we're going to do is we're going to right-click somewhere... Uh, a distance away from the final pose and uh, just type in state machine um, state Mac works as just as well and add new state machine I'm not gonna call it anything because I don't really care what it's called because we're not gonna use it then what I'm gonna do is don't drag off of this because it won't oh, didn't mean to open it don't drag off this because it won't work but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna type transform if I could type uh, transform transform and then modify transform modify bone so this is what you want and then uh, we're gonna just take this and connect this to our final pose um, but uh, this is what you want and this may look familiar if you've been with this series or my channel, just period, or any other uh, Unreal Engine stuff, because this we've used this several times. Um, anyways, we want to uh, modify uh, a very specific bone in this skeleton, and it's going to be the uh, turret uh, to rotate body, a blah, 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 blah. Anyways, this one. <laughs> anyways, this one. Um, but this is the one, obviously, that we're going to want. And we and we don't need these translation pins, so I'm just gonna um, t tell them to not be pins, and I don't need alpha as a pin either. Um, but what we do need is we need to add to existing on the rotation mode, and we also need to leave that as component space. Um, but we'll need to uh, connect this so that way; it's obviously running, uh, so that will be good. Um, 
Sorry, OCD is taking over just a bit. And then we need to just drag, uh, right click on the rotation, promote to variable, and just call it aim rotation. And uh, that's all. That's all we need. Uh, is is it to be called aim rotation? Just something that you'll know. Just like look rotation or whatever. Something that you know what it is. Um, sorry for that CMD pop up. I f need to figure out what that is. I probably have a virus. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so you're going to get this warning that um, new state machine is not uh, entry node uh, new state machine is not connected to state. There was no entry state connected connection in new state machine. Those literally mean the exact same thing, but you know whatever repetition kind of drills things into people's minds. So why not? Um, it, th this is just saying you know this has no animations, no states, anything uh, to it to run animations or blends or anything. And that's fine. We don't need any of that. We just need to modify the bone, and this is how we do it. Um, so it's good to remember that we have this, uh, what, what the name of this is. By the way, you need nothing in your event graph um, in case you're wondering. Um, but you just remember what you called this. Obviously, I'm calling mine aim rotation. So we're going to uh, exit out of this. And I'm going to make a new blueprint class that is an actor. And I'm just obviously going to call it plain turret underscore b p i'm going to open that and so we need a couple things we are going to leave that default root scene there um, but we need to add a skeletal mesh and i'm going to just call that turret very predictable and then i'm going to get ai perception and we're good so uh, on the turret make sure you have your anim class set up so turret anims and the skeleton should be turret. Perfect. Uh, it's very small, but that's because it's exported from Blender. So scale it up to about 104. It is actually pretty big. Um, 104 is a very big size for it. So if that's too big for you, you can scale it down. Um, excuse me, I don't know if you heard that perp. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll drag it into the world here just so you can see how big it actually is. So like I said, there is some subs substance to it but uh, I, I'll, I'll leave it there for right now we'll move it around later because we will need it in our world but uh, let's uh, set up the blueprints real quick which uh, uh, sorry we, we can't set up the blueprints till we do what we need to do and I don't know why I deleted tick or begin play because I'm dumb um, so what we what we need is uh, to go to AI perception dominant sense needs to be sight and then on the senses config I'll, I'll expand this uh, on the senses config we need to add an element and it needs to be uh, sight again expand this expand that I don't know why it's like that but whatever um, <laughs> we need to next go to uh, let's see um, peripheral vision angle degrees so this is the degree of uh, view angle um, and I found I think 45 is best you can you can make it bigger or less anything less than this is actually crap um, really uh, at least for this model and uh, unless you're doing um, no, yeah, for this model, and I don't know about other models, but I'm assuming it'd be the same-ish. Anything less than 45 is pretty much crap. Um, we also uh, need, let, let me check on my other project, uh, the loose sight radius. I like to max that out because it's a turret, so it's probably got like heat sinking or you know some gnarly tech behind it, but everything else can stay the same. Uh, so we you can save that, and close those details, not close them, but just slide them back. I'm gonna hit Control S. Um, but now we need to get our begin play um, and um, uh, let's see. We need to we need to cast to some stuff. So I'm gonna cast to uh, our bro dude. Wow, I really can't spell today, uh, as per the norm. So I'm going to cast a bro dude, and uh, that, of course, as always, will be get player pawn. And then we need to actually promote this to a variable. So I'm going to just right-click the as bro dude, promote to variable, and I'm just going to call it player. That's good. And then after this, we actually, uh, I, I, I like to do this. It, I find it kind of easy. Um, and I do this for pretty much all of, uh, from now on, uh, you know, after I figured out that this was an easy way to do it, I just cast to my anim graph um, and make that a variable as well. So we're going to, 
um, we're going to cast to turret anims and anim get anim instance of the mesh or of the turret sorry because it's not called mesh it's called turret but the mesh skeletal mesh is called turret whatever you know what I'm saying um, and then we uh, we need to promote this to a variable because we're going to be referencing it about I was referencing it twice but actually that was a mistake we only need to reference it once so I'm going to reference this I'm just going to call it anims um, and that's all we need for our begin play so now we're going to get our event tick and set up our AI perception thing uh, and stuff. So just type tick and event tick will pop right up and I'm just gonna just get branch right now. Um, but let's set up our AI perception stuff, why don't we? So I'm gonna compile and then I'm gonna save because you know me, addicted to saving. Uh, so on click, uh, make sure you have selected AI perception in your components tab then go back into your event graph, right click and then you'll see some two options that'll pop up that normally don't pop up if you don't have uh, com uh, that component selected. Usually most each, each component will usually have its own uh, um, events and, and functions that pop up for it. Anyways, so AI perception we need to uh, call, uh, I think add event, event just, no, no, sorry, um, call function and AI perception, expand that list, and then we need to get perceived actors AI perception. Now uh, it's going to reference AI perception automatically for us, but we need to tell it what sense to use. So obviously, common theme here, sight, we need to be able to see or detect visually uh, and look at the player. So we're going to use sight, right? And uh, we need to use something very useful called, uh, and this is a, a out, out, outputting or exporting or uh, giving a return value of an array, which is pretty much a list of things uh, into, into one variable, um, kind of like a structure or something. Uh, so we need to do this really cool function called compare, if I could spell. I don't, I don't know why I did cap. Uh, so we need to do compare. Or sorry, not compare contains. Uh, so contains item, and then we need to see if it contains player. So if true, that 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 bool condition needs to go to our branch condition, and then our true condition. We're not going to mess with the false, uh, and that's a pretty average theme. We're not going to mess with the false, but what we need to do is reference our anims, and then uh, get that, and then drag out and set aim rotation or whatever whatever you called the variable that we set up for our transform modified bone in our animation graph so whatever you call that obviously I called mine aim rotation so we need to connect that up to true and we need to make uh, or break sorry uh, no, make, yeah, I was right, make a rotator off of this. So just drag off and at the bottom of the list, or second to, or yeah, sorry, bottom of the list, make rotators there. So we need to uh, modify some uh, values, uh, but before we do that, we need to know what we're making and combining and modifying. So we're going to do something else that I've used uh, before in AI. Uh, you may have seen this in a couple of my episodes. I've used it very rarely, but it is cool if you're trying to um, uh, do uh, like do AI and stuff looking at certain things. So I'm actually going to get, uh, I'm going to break a rotator first. I'm going to break rotator so that way I just have it here. But what I'm going to, what, what I was talking about is it's called uh, find look at rotation. And so I just did look at and it obviously popped up real quick there. And so we need to get our start and our target. So I'm going to define this here real quick um, and what this, what this little function does. So this find out look rotation gets the locations of two uh, actors in, in the uh, game world and gives the rotation for the actor or whatever you want to modify. So in this case, we're just modifying a bone. Um, the, sets the rotation of the actor that you want to look, uh, that, that you want to look, make look at the actor you want it to look at, if that makes sense. So obviously we want to make this look at our player. We're go this is going to uh, 
we're going to modify this rotation and we just need to get this location but we need to get the location of both of them so the start is uh, will always be what you want to make look at something so in this case we just need to get our our location so we're just going to get actor location get actor location of self just leave it that way but I'm going to duplicate that uh, so I'm just going to select it and hit Control W for the duplication, uh, Command W for your uh, Apple users, and the target here needs to just be our player. I'm going to save that up, and now we, here's where, uh, so that's complete, uh, now it's detecting this is what we want to make look, and this is what we're going to look at, take that rotation and modify it, and you, you it's it's all yours now. You get to modify that rotation. So uh, the way this the bones and and the mesh and uh, is set up for this turret, it's a little weird. But we will have to modify uh, the way um, it actually that we import it. So X is not going to go to X, and Y won't go to Y, and Z actually won't go to Z. The Z is not going to even go anywhere on this one going to go to another one but the X is actually going to go to Y and the Y is going to go to X. I know it's confusing but that's because it's inverted for some reason on the skeleton. Don't ask me why. Someone probably rigged it wrong. That's that's I that's just what happened. I can't fix that. I, I'm, I If I tried to fix that rigging uh, in Blender I'd probably screw everything up. I just fixed the the hierarchy of how everything went so that way when export, er, imported into Unreal Engine it worked the way I wanted it to. Anyways, um, actually, with this y we want to multiply by negative one because it's inverted. So not only is the uh, so not only is the x on on the on the um, turret um, uh, our y, but also the x is always the wrong way. So if we're at a higher plane, it makes it look down. So we need to invert it. So if it's a positive, it needs to be a negative. It needs to be an, if it's a negative, it needs to be a positive. So what we do is we do times by doing asterisk float asterisk float and take that to the x and do this minus 1. So this will invert uh, its value. Um, it's just simple math all it really is and uh, that's that's all we need to do there but we need uh, also to set our entire actors rotation so that way we're constantly looking at it so that way the AI perception is constantly on the player unless it goes out of its field of view uh, or behind an object that you know obviously it can't see through um, so let's set that up uh, by simply uh, set actor rotation um, this one right here, set actor rotation. The target will stay self. The new rotation, though, we do need to make a rotator. And we need to mess with nothing except for the Z, connect to the Z there. And we're actually good. That's all we need to do. And that tiny little bit of scripting, uh, it, it took a bit. Um, granted, you know, uh, the combined, with, we've we've gone on 16 minutes now from the cut of, uh, of importing it. But, you know, it it it's it it's progress and uh, obviously next episode will get him actually uh working uh, to the point of um sorry wor working working to the point uh of where he actually will shoot at us that that ho uh, is is my plan to be the next episode but uh he's He's not seeming to look at us. Maybe I've got something wrong. Um, no, it's working in my other project. So why uh, would it not be working here? Maybe because I've got that blocking it? I don't know. Let me just set it on level playing field here. Huh. Well, um, that that's disappointing. Just a bit. Uh, I I'll 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 be right back here. See if I see if I missed anything or something. Be right back.
What's going on YouTube? We're back with another episode of the FPS series and this episode I thought I'd mix it up and do something a bit different. Now this is going to be a two-parter uh, for multiple reasons. One, current time constraints and B, if I did everything all in one it would probably be an hour uh, lo long episode, maybe a bit longer. So I thought I'd split it up, uh, bite size it maybe. Um, but anyways, what we're going to be doing is setting up a turret that can look at us and shoot at us. So this is going to be slightly limited and um, it's it's, it's not the super it's not like the best or anything I am I'm I'm kind of working with what Unreal Engine blueprinting gives me because keep in mind blueprints are not as flexible and as well functioned uh, functioned and functionable I suppose as uh, C++ scripting that's not an opinion that is a pure, a pure downright fact you can do way more in blue uh, or in C++ scripting than you can in blueprint but of course the entire premise of the series is to do it all in blueprint so I'm not going to touch C++ scripting anyways so uh, first of all download link and it will be in the description for the model of this turret but uh, I'm just going to import it into I guess my miscellaneous um, folder and I'm just gonna call it turret and uh, you'll, you'll get to see what it looks like here in a second. Um, but uh, I would give you the original download. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Please don't open it in a program that I don't want. I don't know what program this is opening in. I accidentally double clicked on the OBJ, OBJ and it's going to start opening it in a program that I don't want. So that's nice. Um, anyways. So I'm just going to drag in this uh, this OBJ, obviously. Now, or sorry, FBX. Um, so uh, I would have just given you the original link, but it needed to be edited. Oh, it's trying to open it in Photoshop. Okay. Um, can we close out of Photoshop? Um, sorry. So uh, what I want to do is, or what I wanted to do is have the skeleton set up properly. And with the way it came, with the way the model came, the skeleton wasn't set up the way I wanted it to be set up. Okay, Photoshop is closed. Good. So I had to import it into Blender, set up the skeleton properly, and then export it. Um, and this is going to be optimum and obviously compatible with the tutorial. So we are going to import it as a skeletal, uh, no skeleton. Do not import any animations. And then you can import materials and textures if you want. There are no actual materials or, te or textures for this. Um, but I'm going to import it, and it shouldn't take very long. Um, but all we're going to do, obviously, in this episode is make it follow us and look at us. And it and I do have my second project up over here in my other monitor, so that way I don't screw anything up. Um, but I will say right now that uh, I haven't even gotten into uh, it shooting us Um yet but it, it will look at us and it will turn with us now with the way like I said AI perception works and um, the way you know blueprint scripting is slightly more limited actually a lot more limited but you can do a much more in blueprint scripting you know uh, all the games all the functionalities and stuff you see with games that are made a, in uh, Unreal Engine and you want to transfer those to your blueprint game you may not be able to accomplish that because 99% of the time those functionalities that they're that they're doing I say 99 that's probably too big of a margin 95% of the time not much less but still most of the time they're going to use blueprint scripting so this is taking a bit to uh, import so I'm going to pause the footage and we'll be back once it's done